In this video, we're going to take a look at how to graph points on a coordinate plane. So this is called a coordinate plane here, and we can show the location of any point that is plotted based on how far left or right it is and how far up or down it is. So this is called the x-axis, and this is going to help us determine how far left or, or right a point is located and this is our y-axis, which is going to show us how far up or down a point is located. In the center, where the two axes come together, this is called the point of origin, and the number here would be zero. So this is our starting point. We haven't moved anywhere at this point. Then from there, we can move right which would be positive numbers, or left, which would be negative numbers along the x-axis. And then we can move up, which are positive numbers, or down, which are negative numbers from our point zero, our point of origin here. So we have our x-axis and our y-axis, and we are going to have two numbers that give us the location of any point. So the first number is always going to be called our x-coordinate. It tells us how far left or right our point is. And the second number is our y-coordinate, how far up or down a point is. So in the first question, we're given ordered pairs here. So this is a point negative six, negative five. So there is one point that is located at negative six, negative five. So the first number is negative six. That means along the x-axis, I'm gonna go until I find negative six, and that's over here. And the second number was negative five. So that means on the y-axis, so the second number is our y-coordinate, on the y-axis, I'm going to find negative five. So this is my coordinate, negative six, negative five. Now, where those two points intersect is where our point is. So that's over here. So that, the point W, this dot over here, is where the point negative six, negative five is. So over here, I'm going to come and write W negative six, negative five is over here where W is. Let's do one more. I'm gonna pick this point here, number four, negative two and zero. So negative two, the first number is our X coordinate and the second is our Y. So negative two along the X, that's over here. And zero for our y. That means we're not moving up or down. So zero is right over here. So where do those two intersect? That is right over here. And the point B is located over there. Now I can check to see if I'm correct. So right over here we have answers. And the first point is W and the fourth one is B. So I've done those correctly. The next set of questions gives you a letter. You need to find that letter on the graph and then give the ordered pair. So what is the X coordinate, how far left or right? And what is the Y coordinate, how far up or down? I'm gonna find X, X is over here. So I wanna find how far left or right? And that is over here at the two. And then along the Y axis, it is over here at the negative three. So it is right or positive two, and then down three or negative three. So the point there is two for the X, negative three for the Y. Once again, I can come over here and check. For X, I have a positive two and a negative three. Okay, let's pick one more. Let's look for F. F is over here. So along the x-axis, it is at positive four. And along the y-axis, it is also at positive four. So both numbers are positive four. And once again, I can check my answer. 
When we have positive numbers, we don't have to write the sign. When we have negative numbers, we do. The third type of question we have, the points are not on the graph. We are going to put the points on the graph. So the first point I have is at positive 8, positive 5. I'm going to find that point, draw in my dot or plot my point, and then write the letter L. So 8, 5. So first number is always the X. So I'm going to find 8. That's over here. And the second number was 5. So on my Y axis, I come up to 5 and find where those two intersect or meet. So this is 8, 5. So that's my point, 8, 5. And the letter that I'm going to put in is L. So I can check over here on this graph from the 8 up 5, from the 8 up 5, and that's where L is. And we can try one more here. So let's plot. So this was positive 8, 5, positive 5. Let's do negative 8, positive 5. So this time my first number is negative 8, so I'm going to come over here to negative 8. And the second number is positive 5, which is still over here, so I'm going to come across to where those intersect. So that's over here, and that is the letter N I'm going to put there. So this is point N. And if I look over here, at negative 8, up 5 points is N. So that is correct as well. So that is how we can plot points on a coordinate plane or how we can read the point, um, the coordinates for a point that are already graphed. So we have lots of practice questions over here for you to work on today. And if you finish all of these, so you can be checking your answers, then we have a puzzle. So to do this question, you're going to plot each of these points. And every time you plot a point, you are going to connect the two points. So the first point is negative 4 and 6. So I'm going to go to negative 4 and up to 6. The second point is 2, 6. So 2 and up to 6. And before I plot my third point, I'm going to draw a line connecting those two points. 